we go. Okay, so today we're going to cover our labeling part. Why do we label? Who remembers why we see labels? Let me call on you. Make sure you guys don't take off your microphone until I call on you. All right. Um, Kaden, are you raising your hand or are you just scratching your head? Just scratching? Okay. <laughs> All right. Gail, how about you? Did you have your hand up? Okay. Awesome. Go ahead, Gail. So we know the parts of whatever it is. Good. So we can do the parts, right? So when we go in our book, we talked about the plants, the parts of a plant. Who remembers this page? Awesome. Now, when we did this page, it tells us that we can pretend we are the parts of a plant. So I want everyone to stand up, and I want everyone to put their hands up, just like the little girl. Okay? Now, what is this side of my, what is this arm? Leaves. <laughs> Good, the leaves. Now, what is my what is my body? My body a is stem. good. A stem. What are my feet? Roots. Good, very good. So you are a flower. You guys just stood up and stand like a flower. Awesome. You guys are flowers too. See, so just like a flower, just like a flower, they have or like people, they have a body, but their body is called a stem, and they also have uh, feet, but their feet are called what? Who can tell me? Uh, Mandy, go ahead. Stem. What are a their stem. feet called? A stem. Mm, that's the body. What are their feet called? Uh, Marcus, what are the feet called? Uh, Maverick, what are the feet called? The roots. Good, the roots. The roots. Very and good. So, yes, yes Gail? I know what the, the stuff is. Um, the yellow thing is. Oh, okay, what is it? You know the petals. The petals. Yes, you see the petals? Those are the, the oh, petals right on the flower, right? Yeah. Okay, yes, it doesn't have it on there, on here, but yes, you are correct. Those are called petals. Very, very good. Um, now, we won't see that word here, but I know that that is correct, so good job. All right, thank you so much, boys and girls. So now what we're going to do today is we're going to read another story, another story. It's called The Tiny Seed. Who has read this story before? Who's read this story before? Anyone? Raise your hand. Uh, not too many. Okay, that's okay. We're going to read it today. It's a wonderful book because I love the drawings in it. And not only do I love the drawings, but it's also about it called The Tiny Seed. So what do you think it's about? What do you think it's about, Mariah? Hmm? About a little tiny seed. Good. So it is, it's about a little tiny seed, and it's also, it has really nice pictures. So we're going to go ahead and read the tiny seed, and we're going to make a connection between this book and from seed to plant. So we're going to find out what's, what's similar about both books. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This book is called The Tiny Seed, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. Okay, The Tiny Seed. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high into the air, and it carries them far across the land. So here we see the flower seeds going across the land. How do I know it's fall? What? What's? Uh oh. Hold on, Kyle. We need you to put that microphone on, Kyle. Okay, we're in the middle of story time. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. One of the seeds is tiny. It is smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Uh-oh. We got to keep that microphone on, Sophia. Maverick, microphone. Awesome. 
one of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high, and the sun's hot rays burn it. Oh, no. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. It went too high, huh? Another seed lands on a t icy, tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts, and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. So yeah, the tiny seed looks like it's probably around here. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and the others sail on in the wind. But the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. So the tiny seed is right around there, and the other ones are all up here, and then there's some that are going in the water. Do you think it's smart to go in the water if you were a seed? Probably not, right? A fish would eat you. Maybe not. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Should we land on a desert if we're a seed? Mm, probably not, right? Thumbs down or thumbs up? Me neither, I don't think so. I agree with the thumbs down. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. <gasps> the tiny seed is not eaten, though. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Uh-oh. So the tiny seed is right there. You see that tiny little seed right there? There's another seed right there. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look as if they're going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch, but the tiny seeds lie very still and the mouse does not see it. Wow, did you guys know that mice also eat seeds? Now it's spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. The birds fly by. The sun shines. Rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open. Now they are plants. <gasps> First, they send roots down into the earth. Then, their stems and their leaves begin to grow up toward the sun. There's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. So here's the weed, and then these are the plants. And it takes all the sunlight and all the rain away from one of the small, new plants. So right here, the small, new plant, right? The tiny seed has not begun to grow. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it's too, it too starts to grow into a plant. <gasps> Uh-oh. The warm weather also brings children out to play. They too have been waiting for the springtime. One child does not see the plant, and as he runs along, <gasps> oh, he breaks one. And it cannot grow anymore. Oh, make sure you guys don't step on the plants because they can't grow anymore. Mm, poor plant. Who feels sad? Thumbs down if you feel sad. Poor plant. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast. But its neighbors grow even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plants have seven. <gasps> and look, a bud, and now even a flower. But 
what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow, and then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. Oh, someone's taking the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. Oh, that's kind of sweet though, right? But what about the flower? It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller and is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. Wow. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. Wow. Look at that beautiful, beautiful flower. It's All so big. Yeah. All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Wow. Now it is autumn again, and the days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some of the petals drop from the giant flower. They sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. <gasps> it sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Everyone shake like a flower. Ready? One, two, three. Shake like a flower. Shake like the book. You see, the flower is broken. Yes, because it's fall, right? And what happens in the fall? All the flower petals, what? Disappear, right? One more. Once more, the wind shakes the flowers, and this time the flower seed pods open. <gasps> so when the wind shakes the flower, guess what comes out of the flower? More seeds! Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. So what do you think will happen to these seeds next spring? The end. Ah. We just never stop. What happens to all those seeds that left the giant, beautiful flower? They get hit by the wind again. Good. It gets, it gets what, Guile? One more time? Carried away by the wind. Good. And then one it all over again. Yes. So it happens all over again. That's right. I love that, Guile. Good. Sweetheart. Yes, that is correct. When you see the tiny seeds, they're going they're going away because it is what season? When do the seeds come out of the flowers? During what season? Fall. During the fall. Good. In the fall, we've learned about that already. We've learned that in the fall, all the leaves start to fall off. And also the tiny seeds, because they need to come off of the, the, the flowers so that we can get new flowers next spring. Very good, thank you. So now I want you guys to think about this book, and I want you to think about the book that we read on Monday. Seed, or I'm sorry, Tuesday. Seed to plant and the tiny seed. What do you, what connections can you make between both of the books? The flowers. Good! Who said that? Oh, who said that? Mandy. Mandy, good. Very good. They are, they're both about flowers. What else? What else do we see? What is the thing? Anyone? Marcus, what do you see that 
the same. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. Everyone's right. Why? Okay, you want me to give you a minute to think about it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give you a minute to think about it. All right, um, let's go with Kirsten. Kirsten. Who's Touch your microphone, sweetheart, and tell me what is something that you saw in both books that is very similar, the same. Go ahead. What is the I same? Don't, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, let's try to make a connection. What is, Naomi, what is this book about? This, that book? Uh-huh. Uh, porque hablan de las plantas. Okay. That book say. Very good. Okay. Say that again, Maverick. That book is fake. It's fake? Okay. Good. Why is it fake? The drawings. Because it has drawings, right? It's it's not it's called what? What does fake mean? What's a net, what's the word that we use? Fiction. Good job, Maverick. Fiction, right? Fiction. What is this one? Real. Real. Good. Real. And what do we call real books? Fiction. Non-fiction. Non-fiction. Good job, Maverick. Yes, non-fiction and fiction. But even though, even though we saw two different books and this one is fiction, we know it's not real because it's not real pictures. But is it giving us real information still a little bit? A little bit, right? Maybe not the whole book because is there a flower that's as tall as a house? Mm, what do you guys think? Do you think there's a flower that can be as tall as a house? What do you think, Hayden? Do you think that's real? Which one? This book tells us about a flower that got as big as a house. Do you think? No. No, right? Why not? Because it's... <laughs> it's impossible? Do you think it's impossible? What do you think? Yes, go ahead, Sophie. Sorry, but. Sorry, again, okay? Who's Sorry, saying what no? Think? Okay, who's saying no? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right. If you remember, if you remember, you can always come back and tell me, okay? Yeah. All right. So it's impossible, right, boys and girls? Why is it impossible? Because it's not real. Good. It's not real. Very good, Kaden. Yes. So when we saw that flower, and remember, at the very end, we saw a flower. Look at this flower. Look at the picture. And look at this illustration. Mariah. Yes. yes, teacher. Do you see this this picture? Yes. Why is this not real? Because these have flowers are not big. Only two. Oh, hold on. We're, we we got to give Mariah a turn, okay? Hold on, Mandy. Okay, go ahead, Mariah. Because there's only three petals on him there's only three leaves on him because this is not real it's on a fiction book good it is not real it is on a fiction book but is it possible for a plant to be this big and the people no little, no it's not real but it's mm -hmm. definitely very 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 important to see the connection between both books now this book is called the 
This book is called The Tiny Seed. Oh, yeah, Thank you, Mariah. Go ahead and touch your microphone again, okay? All right, here we go. Miss so, E. Yes, sweetheart. Oh, my God. The last is down. Go ahead and touch your microphone. Yes, Mar uh, Isabella, are you okay? Ah, uh, you're here. Okay, I will write your name down, okay? Hold on, okay, sweetheart? All right, so we know, we know that this book is called The Tiny Seed because it's about a tiny, tiny... Seed. Good. And we saw that that seed goes through all of the seasons. What are the seasons that it went through, Connie? What were the seasons? Tell me the seasons, Connie. Oh, touch your microphone so I can hear you, sweetheart. Winter. Good. Winter. Spring. Summer. Fall. Very good. So, just like we've learned about the seasons, we know that the flower and the tiny seed went through all of them. In the fall, the what happened to the seeds and the flowers and the petals? What happens to them? Go ahead, Connie. What happens to them in the fall? What happens to the, the flowers in the fall? They die? Yes, the leaves fall off, right? And what happens to those seeds, Guile? What happens to those seeds? Oh, Connie, touch your microphone. I want to tell you something the same okay. about them. Oh, okay. A connection. Awesome. Connection. The connection is um, they're both the life cycle of a seed to a plant. Good. And if we look through the seasons like it did in this book, do we see the plant life cycle? Yes. Correct. Very, very good connection. Thank you so much, Guile. Yes. So the connection, boys and girls, the connection um, is that this is the plant life cycle. Just like we've learned about the plant life cycle in this book, we are learning about the plant life cycle in the tiny seed. It's the same thing. It's telling us how it's happening. It's telling us how the little seed travels through four seasons into a big and beautiful flower. Okay, so very good. Thank you for the connection, Guile. Awesome job. So now I want you guys to think about, um, I want you guys to think about the book and think about this, the labeling, okay? The labeling. And we're going to label today according to what we've learned in our book, in our two books, because we've learned a lot about flowers. And I want you guys to tell me, I want you guys to tell me what are the parts of the flower that we've talked about. So we've talked about a couple parts. In the tiny seed, we talk about the seeds, right? And what else? We talk about what? Guy, you told me this one earlier too. What are these things falling off? Sophia, what are these Hello. things? Okay, good. And Sophia, what is the body of the flower here? What is that called? Them. Good. And Naomi, what is here? What's here? Leaf. Good. Leaf. So just like we learned in a nonfiction book, we also see the same thing in our fiction book. Okay? And I want you guys to help me label today. I want you guys to help me label. Now that we've talked so much about it, I want you guys to help me find the the labels for our flowers. So here I have something called a tomato tree. Who loves tomato? Thumbs up if you love tomato. Thumbs up. I love tomato. Miss B likes tomato. Anyone else? Thumbs up? Awesome. Kirsten has a thumb up, I think. I don't see your thumb. Uh, Mandy likes it. Lila, do you have a thumb up or thumb down? Do you like tomatoes? Oh, Kirsten says no. Okay. I say yes, Sophia says yes. Oh, we don't take our microphones off. We just show me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Awesome. All right. Mariah, how about you? I don't see your thumb. Up or down? 
<laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. I love it. It tastes like so good. <laughs> ah, tornado! That wasn't me. That wasn't me this time. I believe you. I think that one was the win. All right, here we go, guys. So we're going to label the tomato plant. So here we have a tomato plant. I want you guys to help me label it by finding the parts of the tomato plant. Now remember, when we see labels, why do we use them? Why do we use labels? Who told, someone already told me why we use them. I forgot who told me earlier. But why do we use labels? Um, let's go with Kirsten. Kirsten, why does teacher talk about labels? Why are they important? Lana has just not opened this one. Go ahead, Kirsten. Hold on, Guile. You gotta give her a turn, okay? Unless I call your name. All right, Kirsten, touch your microphone, sweetheart, and tell me why are labels so important? Why does Miss D talk about labels every week? Why is it so important? Kirsten. Do you know how to take off your microphone? Ah, Kirsten, there you are. Okay, why are labels so important, sweetheart? Why? Well, let's look here. Okay, do you see the flower? Or the little um, sprout? Yeah. Okay, what are those red and yellow boxes? You can't see it. Right here? What are those? Leaves. Good. And the reason why an informational book like this one has a little yellow circle that says leaves, it's because it wants you to know that those are what that is called, okay? So it's very important because as we as we read books in the future, when we go to first, second, third, fourth grade, we're going to have a lot of books like this. And it's very important to remember that labels, just like it says here, leaves, are important for us to know what we are reading about. Okay, so it gives us information about the book. Okay, it gives us information about the book. Now, I know, Guile, you wanted to say something, so I'll give you a turn. Did you want to say something? I was the one who said it, and this is what it was for. So we know the parts of whatever that thing is. Good. So if we are learning, today we're learning about a plant, right? So it's giving us information about food. Good. Very good. So that is why it's very inform inform informational and it's very important to read the labels, okay? So today, I want you guys to go ahead and go over the labeling with me. So I want you guys to help me find the words and I wanna see if you guys know where they go. Remember, I want you guys to raise your hand to help me, okay? All right, so here we have the first word and I want you guys to help me label my potato, my, pota my tomato. Okay, who said that? Uh, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Kyle. Mm -hmm. oh, Mommy. Miss, oh, okay. Miss D's calling Kyle. Mm -hmm. Kyle. Oh, we're not doing math right now, Kyle. Can we focus? Oh, I thought you were raising your hand, so I called you. Do you want to help me? No? Okay. All right. Let's give Marissa. Marissa, what word is this? Uh, what is that? Starts with an L. Okay. And it with an F. Leaf. What's the sound? Say it with me, Marissa. Leaf. Leaf. Good. Now, leaf. Marissa, where do you think, Marissa, where do you think that the leaf is? Where do you think that the leaf is? Let's look at Miss D's picture. And we have a tomato, a tomato plant. Where do you think the leaf is? Oh. 
Oh. He's pointing to the picture on the screen. Here, show me your, show me your picture. Oh, look at me over show here. Okay, look at Miss C. Uh, okay. Um, go ahead and put your mute button on for me, Marissa. Go ahead and put your mute button. Okay, Kirsten, go ahead, sweetheart. Where do you think Miss C could find a leak? Go ahead, sweetheart. Okay, Maverick, how about you, sweetheart? Where do you think Miss D should find a leak? Where? Touch your microphone, though, okay, so I can hear you. Because I can't hear you. Hmm. Okay, anyone else want to give it a try? All right, I see Mariah. I think your hand's up, Mariah. Go ahead, Mariah. Touch your microphone. I leave ghost over here. Oh, I wait. Leave. Where? Where do you think I should put it? Where should I label the leaf? Here. Here. I'll put the tomato next to the tomato. Oh, okay. Now I hear you guys. Next to the tomato. So do you think I could put it right here, maybe next to the tomato? No. Um, Is that a leaf? No. Um, yes. Yes? Okay. Kaden, what do you think? Do you think this is correct? Good. Yes. Good job, Maverick and Kaden. Yes, that is a leaf. Very good. So I found a leaf. The leaf is right next to the tomato. Very good. Very good observation, Maverick. Thank you, Kaden, for helping out. Um, so now I have another part of my flower. Um, I think I'll read it to you guys just in case. I'll read it to you guys because sometimes I know it's a little blurry. So I know Marissa couldn't see it earlier. So I'll read it to you guys. All right. So the next part that I need to help with labeling is called a fruit. A fruit. Sometimes plants give us fruit or vegetables. So a tomato is kind of like a fruit and a vegetable, but some people think it's a fruit. Who thinks it's a fruit? Some mommies call it a fruit. Yes. Some mommies call tomatoes a vegetable. I think it's both. It comes from a plant, so it's kind of like a fruit. So where should I place the word fruit? Where should I put my label? Where? Um, let's go with Isabella. Where should I put the label of fruit? Where? Where does it go in my picture? Oh, I can't hear you, sweetheart. Touch your microphone. Um, and the, and the tom, tom, and the, and the, Did you say tomato? Tomato. Good job. I heard you trying to say that. Good job, sweetheart. Yes. So I'm going to put fruit on the tomato. Thank you, Isabella. Very good. Go ahead and touch that microphone for me, little Elsa. All right. So we have we have two labels so far. We have a leaf and a fruit. You guys have helped me with two labels. Good job. Now I know where to find those. I have another one, and this one is called, and I'm going to read it to you guys just in case it's too blurry. This one is called the roots. Everyone say roots. And when we did our picture today, Remember, we stood up with our hands like this, and what did we say were the roots? Our, our seeds. seeds. Good. Seeds. So where, where do we think that we will find the roots on my picture? Uh, Lila, where will we find the roots? Where? A feet of a plant. Good. The feet. The feet of the plant. So where do you think that is? If I'm looking at this picture, where should I put it? Right here, on the bottom. On the bottom, like right here? Mm -hmm. Good, and what do we see at the bottom? We see a lot of what? 
roots. Good, roots, and they're inside of the plant. The it's a vocabulary dirt. word. Dirt. Dirt, also known as the dirt. Soil. 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 Good. Soil. So we learned a vocabulary word this week. Remember, everyone, show me soil. Soil. Good. Show me your soil. Yes, the roots, the feet of the plant are in the soil. Good job, Lila. Very good. Yes. So we see that the roots are in the soil. Very good. Um, so now I have one, two more. Two more I need your help with. Okay, this one is called the stem. Now, we pretended that we were a flower today, a plant. Um, where, where should I put the stem? Go ahead, Naomi. Where should I put that stem? It's the support of the plant. Yes, so it's, it's kind of like a body, right? It supports the plant. Very good, sweetheart. So where do you think I should put it, Naomi, in my picture? Where do you think it should go? Uh, Don't they be in such a Go ahead, sweetheart. Down the leaf. Down by the leaves? Okay. So, do you think in the middle? Yes. Okay. Let's try it in the middle. Is this the body of the of the plant? Yes. Remember, when we everyone stand up like a flower. Remember a plant? Stand up. Remember, our body, right here, our body is the stem. It keeps our leaves. Our arms are the leaves, right? If we don't have a body, how are we going to have our leaves? Very good, um, Naomi. So in the middle, we have a body that holds our, supports our leaves. Good job, Naomi. All right, and last but not least, we have... So this one's a little tricky. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's so small. Does anyone see it or is it too small? Too small? Anyone see it? I'm going to do this one because it's too small and I know it's a little blurry. When you watch it on YouTube, you'll be able to see it, but it's so blurry, I know. So there's a tiny little flower. Let me move fruit right there. Do you guys see those? Tiny little flowers that come on a, yes, so tiny little flowers. And those are produced as well in the tomato plant. So there are flowers. And I will put that one for you right there because there are one, two, three flowers. And they're really tiny. But I want you guys to know that there are flowers. So I'm going to show it to you guys so you can see the beautiful little flowers. Do you see them now? I hope so. Awesome. Mandy says yes. Naomi, how about you? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, Ms. D. Awesome, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. So we are able to see little flowers. Okay. So now what I want you guys to do is I want you to guys to take the next nine minutes. It's 1021. Nine minutes to fill out your own label worksheet. So I want you guys to label your own flower. So I want everyone to make sure that you look at the words that are on the bottom. Okay. And I want you guys to tell yourselves, why am I doing why am I doing labeling? Kirsten, why do why is it important to label the flower? Why is it important? Why does Miss D make us do this? Go ahead, Kirsten. Why does Miss D say it's so important to know what a label is? Why? Leaves. Yes, it tells us about the where the leaves are. Good. What else? Um, Sophia, why is it so important to know what? So we know the parts. Yes, yeah, so we know the parts of the flower. Good. And it's very important to see the information that we're learning about, so that we learn about flowers and the different parts of the flower. Very good. Um, so boys and girls, everyone should have the label worksheet. I know Isabella, you just joined us. So if you have it, um, it's called the, 
label it just like that okay awesome when you are done make sure you color and take a picture and send it to me on seesaw okay if you are done oh sophia is done if you are done mm -hmm. please go ahead and submit it when you are done submitting start reading a book on ras kids you have seven minutes seven minutes seven minutes so make sure you, you use that time to read books because we got to catch up i think mariah's at 160 books we got to catch up and we only have one month to catch up so we have 30 days to catch up let's catch up and guile has 265 books Woo, that's a lot so make sure when you guys are done what should you be doing reading yes read a book on Raz kids when you are done come back here at 10 30. we have six more minutes six minutes to finish do you like coloring i love it you actually colored beautifully look how nicely you wrote i'm very proud of you miss v yes sweetheart 